Everybody's on this electric car thing right now, but I, you know me, I'm a hydrogen synthetic fuel guy. So I'm going to be negative through this show. I hate to say that, but I just, I look forward and I really see batteries as a whimsical moment in time. So let's talk about this. So, so Pininfarina, I mean, design company, amazing. Look at all the cars they've done. They, the, it's just an exhaustive list. You can't even go through all of them. But this is actually named after the founder of Pininfarina. Um, which is Batista oh, is that Farina. Okay. And those of you that didn't know this, but uh, I think it's Pinin or Pinin because it was his nickname that was given to him because he was so short, and that's how he came up with Pin and Farina. I like anything that Pin and Farina designs. They're really, they're really stunning design. But I mean, and I get it that they're jumping on the electric car bandwagon. The car still looks a lot like an F8 Tributo to me. Oh, it's definitely. I mean, if you take a look of at it, right, it. it's got a lot of that styling and which shape. Which is their styling, it. You know? right? It is their styling. But I mean, some of these electric cars, like because you can buy electric car like everywhere now and i mean some of these the stylings i had a girlfriend that used to always go to those arts and crafts fairs and it was just like one homemade jewelry table after another you're just like hoping for a lightning strike right there and you just and because <laughs> electric styling is different they look at because remember you don't need the big air radiators up front right so they kind of come up with like that and i don't want to pick on tesla because i don't want them to sue me but i don't <laughs> like the i don't like the center nose area of the tesla i just i don't find that very attractive they need to draw some air into those teslas maybe draw it in from the center but this they got a great shape to it but it looks like the f8 tributo to me it's got tons of ferrari styling i see uh the i8 also in certain aspects of it too uh, especially on the back uh, quarters but i mean let's just talk about this it's zero to 60 in two seconds which is unreal um it's got the same drivetrain as the remit concept too so you're not getting sold short in this thing. It's it's proven technology. It's a fast car. Well, they they say that they limit the speed on this at 211 miles per hour. But if the Remick, if it's got the same drivetrain as the Remick, then the Remick will go 258. Yeah. So then it's it's you know what? I'll drink to that. You whiskey girl. million is what these are going to be starting at, which is probably just in line with the uh, Remit Concept 2, uh, but only 150 will be built. No two will be the same. And the neat thing about this too is that you can actually use any charging port in the world for free. It comes as one of the perks of this car, which is Great. So you could definitely recoup your money in probably, I don't know, 10,000 years. years. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And, but it also still comes back to electric horsepower ratings. You can look at the REM. That, that, it's saying what, that 1,900 remit, horsepower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says 1,900 horsepower. But the Remick goes, and it's, you can tell, look at that Remick and tell that's a pretty aero car. Yeah. Okay. And then you've got the Tuatara, mm. pretty aero car. Not electric, though. I know, but it makes 150 less horsepower than the Tuatara does. 150 less horsepower and goes 24 miles an hour faster. Well, actually, it goes more because the top speed on this, although they initially said 250, it's 217. Oh, so it's only 217? Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. that's a problem for me. Because the, 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 the <laughs> Remac, a problem. The, the, no, I'm just saying is that the Remac, that Nevera thing goes 258 at 1,900 horsepower, and then the Tuatara goes 282 at 1,750 horsepower. Mm -hmm. So how come this is so much slower, 40 miles an hour slower with the it's same drivetrain? I mean, look at Ferrari. I mean, it's, it's a refined design, and I think it's supposed to be elegant in its shape, and it's not really going to yeah, be out there know, to set but track now it's only a, now, But now a, a SVJ is a two miles an hour faster, and, it and it's 750 better. horsepower versus 1,700. They're 1,000 horsepower apart, and, they have the, and, the, S, and the SVJ is, a, is two miles per hour faster. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it also, this thing weighs two tons. So, oh, I yeah. Mean, I forgot that things are friggin' huge yeah, beasts. Even yeah, though I mean, they have like the T batteries, you know, pack that's going to be in it, which I'm guessing is for weight distribution. And I like that but. they're doing that T battery deal, you know, because you've got to get these batteries out from the sides of the cars because these things are dangerous. Yeah. I mean, you get you get slammed into the side and these things Yikes. ground out. I mean, this is going to be really bad. you got to get out of that thing because it's burning it's to the a, ground if it doesn't electrocute you. Yeah. Right. So they got a T, so more than likely it's they're going to have it behind the seat so at least be protected by the rear tire. That's a good structure 
structural deal to hit. Yeah. So it'll help protect you in case of a, a, a side impact. Now let's talk about this car because, I mean, from a performance standpoint, you might as well just look at the Rimac because that's what this is going to be doing, just a little bit less. Styling standpoint, because that's what they're known for. What do you think? There's well, so many cues on this. I have, a, I have something that I use when I'm at the girly club. Anytime that I'm ever interested in buying a, a black car. black card? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I'm way too cheap for that. Um, but anytime that I'm interested in buying a car, I'll always, you know, find some of the girls at the girly club. And, you know, not, not like super hot girls, not girls that are hot enough to maybe ruin a marriage, but I'll find ones that are good enough to, you know, just get their opinion on it. One, one eye on a, Exactly. Like hey, I'll show them a car and I'll go, hey, what do you think of this car? What do you think of that car? And just get their general opinion. Yeah. And this car, really matters. I showed them this car just out of curiosity. I just want to see what they had to say. And they loved the car until they found out it was electric. Mm. None of them liked it because it was an electric car. Uh, but they will like it because from what I've heard, the sound that it's going to be making is like a vibration sound. So they'll probably like it once they get in. <laughs> I'm still out on all that fake noise <laughs> stuff. You're not going to sell that to me at all. I do like on this car that the styling is really fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they really nailed it. But I do hate on this car. I absolutely hate, hate, hate those mirrors. I don't really? know what they're doing with those mirrors. They're I think just, they look great. They look like something that should be on the Batmobile. I don't, I don't like them at all. Great. I don't like the whole top Sounds. wing thing. And I know, I know Pin and Farina, that upper lip that's on the mirror that bugs me so bad yeah. that I would hacksaw that off there is probably there to help redirect air sure. to, for top Chain speed. One, yeah. And I know it's on there for a reason, but gosh, they've got to come up with a better way to do that. No, I thought they looked great, which is, I, so I totally disagree with you on that. But I mean, just look at the, uh, the lighting that's on it. You see that strip that goes across the front of the bumper? That's the turn signals are actually integrated into it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and all, all the right. symbols or the, all the logos light up, which I don't know. I know it's a little gimmicky, but it, to me it looks cool. I like and, it. But you know what? That's the kind of stuff that should be on this car. You yeah. know, logos lighting up and stuff like that. Do you, do you hear an alarm going off? <laughs> the problem with electric cars is that you might laugh about that as a guy, but pretty soon you're gonna be that guy making the sandwiches mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. pretty soon you won't have anything to do because you and I, we, we enjoy working on our own cars. You know, we'll go out and just do stuff with them and things. But these cars are so complex anymore that first of all, you got a good chance of getting electrocuted if you take the wrong thing off, yeah. you know? And there's so, there's so much just craziness going on with them look with fluid pumps and just all kinds of stuff that it's just so difficult to understand and they they're all so crazy yeah, computerized engineering degree that, in yeah, electronics yeah, to absolutely be able to even, to even work, work on them that it's taking away the the hot rodder from you that's the thing about electric cars is it does it takes how are you going to modify this to make it faster I mean, you, you can put a new exhaust. Oh. Yeah, you can't. Right, yeah, you exactly. Can, that's maybe the, some turbo. Oh. No, right, exactly. And that's <laughs> the thing with this car is that you, you get what you get. Yeah. And I just I, and maybe there'll be cottage industries that pop up later on. Maybe sure. That'll be I mean, there's there's we'll some little we'll shops that are hot on, riding cars. Yeah, yeah, like yeah you probably can cars. work on motors and change to different types of materials to make them a little different bit wires faster. Or something. Yeah. But I just these cars are kind of crushing the hot rodding industry because they're limiting what people can do to really personalize your cars. Pretty soon, all you're going to end up be doing after a while is you'll be able to buy those little shiny lug nuts with the points on them that they sell at AutoZone. Oh, really cool. That's your going to be your modification. Oh, wow, it's got, the, it's got the pointy lug nut option. And that's the thing is with... With our naturally aspirated engine ice cars, we call them now, ice cars, ice, internal combustion engines, you, you can work on different sounds. You can put different camshafts in them. You can even yeah. change fuels if you want to. Sure. You know, run the thing on E85 or run it on alcohol or gasoline and really do crazy stuff with it. But plug it into a different outlet isn't changing anything. Yeah, so... And I, that's what they're I, saying, too, that you can charge this thing in 80% charge from 0 to 80 in 40 minutes, but that you're going to be hard-pressed to find a, an outlet that's going to give you that much electricity coming out. Well, that's the thing, is that most houses have to have their... Most of these are like 70 amp upgrades to run these things. So, I mean, most houses are 50 amps, from what I understand. You know, yeah. everything that I ever had didn't have a big 70 amp breaker on it. So, I mean, you're going to have... You've got expenses in just setting up your stuff in the first place. And I know everybody says, oh, you know, but I'll save so much money on gasoline. But you know what? It's kind of like going out and finding a $50 date versus a $1,000 date. You know, you go, oh, wow, look at how much money I save. But you know what? You're going to have to figure in the cost of antibiotics and the recovery time. 
<laughs> or just using a lot of rubbing alcohol. Right. Does that work? I've heard. So I've got this itch. That, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that this car would actually, I, I, because I'm not, I'm not thinking, I'm thinking like you are. I'm not thinking that this electric car thing is going to last long. So, it, like I said, it's a whimsical moment in time. Yeah. Because these cars are like, what, what you're going to find with these cars is as they get older, all these battery packs are going to need replaced. Wires so when you buy, these 30, the 000, you buy these things for $30,000, and then in a few years, they need a $20,000 battery. It's like, it's like you're the captain of the ship in the 1500s. You bought this electric car, and when that battery does fail, you're going down with that ship. And where are you going with this to get a service? Are you going to a Remac dealer? Because you're not going to Ferrari. So where you have to go to a specific Pininfarina dealer? Well, yeah. I mean, but there'll be cottage industries that come up to fix all these other electric cars. But once again, you still got exor ex exorbitant costs to yeah. try to repair these things because these batteries are all going to fail. Yeah. Whereas I, it was a 69 Chevelle for sale. It's a 50-year-old car with 36, 38,000 miles on it. Still ran like a top. Mm -hmm. 50 years from now that's that, that if that was an electric car it'd be on his third or fourth battery cycle so at you'd least, have eighty thousand dollars in battery you could buy this whole car for eight grand and because you know this whole thing 2.4 million this isn't getting run just like we talked about like some of the other supercars that are coming out for you know the amg gt1 for 3.3 million that's not going to get driven thirty one thousand miles no. soon. and then soon and this gonna... is going to sit there too and all it's, yeah. it's just going to degrade the battery because Everybody's got cell phones. You all know what you have to do with your cell phones and charging and discharging oh, yeah. them. They lose range. They lose yeah, range. They it's lose gonna range. Happen. And I know it's not die. as bad as they yeah. used to be with the memory, but it's going to happen. All right. I think it's time. I hear squealing noise. section i am going to try to be as unbiased as i possibly can be because i still have an aversion to electric cars but i still have to rate this as if i was excited about electric cars so i'm going to put okay. my bias aside i'm going to act like i'm excited about electric cars and i'm going to give this thing a rating and the rating is actually going to surprise you because we recently did the acr viper episode you get a chance to check that out this car, to me, in styling, is just as impressive as an ACR Viper, and I gave it a 70. Wow, okay. Because there's some cool stuff on it. Definitely. I love the back spoiler thing. I don't like the spoiler up, but I love it down. It's yeah. very original. Just some really killer With stuff. The that fender flaps yeah, kind of go over each other. Yeah, there's just some stuff, stuff that Pin yeah. and Farina does that no one else does. And I think that this is one of those cars that... Uh, and I don't want to pick on the Mercedes AMG One deal, but I still I think the AMG One can sit in the back end of a museum and people can forget about it. I don't think this car can do that. I know that, yeah. but I, I, there's better AM there's better Mercedes cars. I mean, all of their um, their race cars just they have so many race cars that are just stunning yeah. that are today that you just you want to bring that to the front. Sure. And and they convert into some, them into street cars. I mean, those move toward the front. This this the Mercedes doesn't have a street. A race car version of it if they do then maybe it'll move forward so i guess i was a little ahead of jumping at that mm -hmm. picking on it that fast but at the same time this car is different enough with a lot of neat little cues that i think yeah. that it has a place in time yeah no it totally right. does and I, I would agree with you on that rating in the sense that this is a design company you know, they, they are masters at their craft in, in it, not just automobiles. They do all kinds of other things as well. But they really showed their, you know, they put their best foot forward when designing this car. And I think that it really shows. And I obviously the motor aspect or the um, powertrain aspect isn't what their forte is. But, you know, they went with a smart decision in choosing something that's that's been tried, true, and tested. I Sorry, still want, I'm dying to hear your number. So I actually gave this a little bit higher than you. I was at really? a 77. Oh, so not the giant because it's not got a giant. lot of power. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's got, well, well, but right. we're talking about styling here. Right. And, and I know the one thing that I do like that I saw in a couple of the models was the two different color interiors. Like the driver's seat's a different color than the passenger seat, which I know Patrick doesn't like. If I like. saw that, I would have took five points off right away because I, I hate it. that. I love it. I don't know why, but I love it. <laughs> Honestly, it probably would have been higher if they would have shown us the car, like if you and I were sitting in this car and then they said, 
you know, didn't tell us what kind of drivetrain was in it. Yeah, and I you would have liked it, it was better. a V8 or something I like that. I would have liked it better if I would have known that it wasn't an electric car. But once again, it's like that girl that's a long ways away, and as she gets closer, she's got the Adam's apple. It just kind of blows it for me. But just this, cover it up. This car, yeah, I think there's more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hope you believe the same thing. Um, this car in performance, I'm not going to give it a huge number. It's got a lot of, that's the thing with every electric car. Everybody talks about how their electric car runs a great quarter mile, but these cars aren't all about that supercars are all about doing laps and just being road race cars and sliding around doing crazy stuff and i don't see any of that stuff in this car it's it's over two tons it's a big heavy beast so it's more of a kind of a glitzy flashy kind of i can go fast for a little bit kind of car so i if it was a racing car it was a thousand pounds lighter with this kind of power it would be like an 85 or a 90 but but it's not so i gave it a 70 Wow, okay. Well, I think that's where it belongs. You squared it off. Yeah, so it's once again, they squared it off. But something like this at this kind of money should be 10 points higher. But it can't be 10 points higher because it's got an electric motor, which hurts it in performance, which hurts it in because it's so heavy. Four electric motors. Well, I know, but it's it's electric. And it just just kills them. So where are you at? Actually, I gave it a pretty hard hit because it's it's not impressing me. I mean, it's, it's a Rimac drivetrain so obviously that's impressive and if we did the Rimac car obviously I'd give it a higher rating but you're going to use somebody else's drivetrain I'm not going to really give you a high performance rating because it's theirs not yours so I actually give it a 60 Okay, so we're not, <laughs> we're not on, the same page. That, that's but, that's uh, honestly, you know. but because I, yeah, I was about 10 points high because I was trying not to be biased. I'm, I'm at 60-60 in the real world because the thing is so heavy and it's got electric motor, so it doesn't sound cool. Um, I can't go to the girly club and impress the girls with it because they don't like it right away. But no, this car, I, I think that... It's got a lot of cool styling cues, and I really think that that's what this was, was an exercise in styling. And I think that they achieved what they were after. Sure, And so I think in that sense, I'm going to give them a toast. I'm definitely going to give them a toast. They've done so many great things in their past. It's okay. They get one that we can... Yeah, you get one one mulligan. Give us a do-over. Do this car with an internal combustion engine in it. (sighs) Oh, man, this thing. Could you imagine this car with a... 1400 horsepower oh my gosh How about just throw a nelson racing engine in this oh thing. yeah Those things oh, are gorgeous get a hold too. of the guys at tuatara and build something <laughs> off their chassis then you guys will have my vote Please. absolutely but until then the styling cues are enough for me i'm giving it a toast i'll give it a toast congratulations pin and farina you got a toast Be sure to like and subscribe, and you know what they say. If you have an opinion that's different than ours, keep it to yourself.